What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net. So today I'm bringing you a video on choosing the right bearing. So it turns out, knowing the size of your bearing is not enough. If you choose a bearing that is the correct size, you've done all the measurements, you put in the order it shows up, it may still not be the right one for what you're doing. There's no reason to become alarmed. When I was first starting out, I hopped over to my local bike shop because I couldn't get a hub bearing that I needed fast enough. I wanted to see if they had it and they said, well, so we don't have the regular enduro bearing, but we do have the nicer version, the Max. So at that point, I didn't know. Max sounds great. Max is the highest. Take me to the Max. The difference is like a buck between the bearings at that point because they're tiny. Like, I don't care. I'm sure my customer wants the nicer bearing. Wrong. When I started to talk about this video with people, I thought, well, maybe I was the only dummy that didn't know. And like the one guy that I talked to in the shop, it turns out, a lot of people don't know. So today, just for you, I'm going to murder these. It's an Enduro bearing and an Enduro Max bearing. We're gonna take them apart and see what's what. Let's go. So welcome to the bearing surgery table. What I have here is the Max and regular ABEC 3 Enduro bearings. So this is the old packaging, I think. I think that they've started to do this plastic bag packaging, which is less defined. So it doesn't say Max necessarily on there, but it does say it on the label. It says Max, and this happens to be a black oxide coated bearing, which is unimportant for the sake of our test. Here are two bearings. The one with the red seal is the Max. The one with the blue seal is the ABEC 3 standard enduro radial bearings. You take the red pill. Really the only way to tell when they're not in their boxes or their little baggie is that this one says LLU Max. If it didn't say max on the end, the LLU is also a good indicator, which we'll talk about later. This one says LLB, which is a very good indicator that it is an ABEC 3 bearing besides the blue seal. If you hold them in your hands, ABEC 3 moves very loosely. The max bearing is very sluggish. So that is due to a lot of factors, but we're going to pop them open and see. So right off the bat, what we notice is that the Max bearing has red grease in it. The ABEC 3 standard bearing has blue grease. It's not just the color that matters. The red grease is actually an extra high pressure grease that they call their Max grease. Go figure. This is the performance grease that you find in a lot of their bearings. So that extra high pressure grease is also packed in there at a 90% capacity, which you see that they don't put as much grease in the regular bearing because they aren't trying to create extra friction by overpacking the bearings. A suspension pivot only moves about 45 degrees at most, so it doesn't necessarily need to have that additional movement that the regular bearing has. The other thing that you'll see too is there's less bearings in this. That is because there's actually a retainer keeping the bearings perfectly spaced and keeping them on track. In the suspension bearings, what you'll see is they took the retainer out so that they had more room for bearings. So that makes this 35% higher load capacity. It also creates a lot of extra friction. This is called full complement. So if you ever see the term full complement when talking about a bearing, it's that the cage isn't in there and that you can actually fit all ball bearings instead of taking up any space with guides. So on the seals, like we talked about earlier, see this one says LLU Max, and the Enduro ABEC 3 says LLB at the end. So the Enduro LLB seal is a low friction seal that has two lips, but they're very light, so they don't have a lot of contact, they don't create a lot of friction. LLU full contact seal is much thicker than the LLB. This seal actually has two very distinct lips. Both of them rest in a groove in the race, but you can see that these actually have a lot more contact than this seal would. The Max will seal out dirt and grime and water and all those things a lot better, but it also secondarily is keeping stuff out, but it's also keeping stuff in. So this is meant to retain more grease in the original bearing so that it doesn't lose its grease while it's operating. So pretty cool but that's generating a lot of extra friction as well as having a full complement of ball bearings with additional grease in there. All of that just creates a 
bearing that doesn't roll as smoothly in a hub. So one of the features of a full complement bearing is that it actually has a fill slot that I'm going to try to point out as best I can. So see that groove right there? So that is actually so that they can fit all of the bearings in there at manufacturing. The side effect of that is that it's not as high of an axial load. So if you put this in a hub and it gets a lot of side to side pressure, it actually won't be as strong as a caged ball bearing that doesn't have an exit point for the ball bearings. This also is just not physically capable of high speed rotation as the caged ball bearing. And that's why we see the different purposes for these two bearings. And there we have it. Don't use Max bearings in hubs. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Now you know the difference between the bearings. You know why you're making the choice. I know I could have made like a 10 second video and that would have accomplished at least something, but this way you know exactly the engineering going in to make it specifically for a purpose over another. All the good things that keep you the cool professional bike mechanic that you are. Like this video, comment below if you have anything that you want to add or if you have any questions. You can subscribe to the channel, that's awesome. You can check out the website, I've got cool swag. It's probably too late for the holidays, but I don't care. You can still order it. Shirts, hats, t-shirts. Did I say shirts? Hope you guys have a good day.